Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is very exciting day because I have got my hands on this new 14 inches MacBook M3 Pro in silver and I'm very excited to open this. So let's let's unbox it together. Um, and if you are as excited as I am, please give thumbs up. All right, let's get started. Okay, so this is the box of new MacBook Pro. Even the box looks nice. They have this new design for their new series. And to uh, open this box, looks like I need to um, cut, cut through the tapes. And I guess we are ready to open it. And there you go. The beautiful MacBook. Uh, there is a protector all over it, so I'm gonna take it off. Oops. And here is the first look. Let's check what else we have got in the box. Looks like a power cable and it's USB-C. And there is a user manual. And look at this, the Apple stickers, two of them. And adapter. Yep. Now it's time to power up this beauty. I am plugging in the power and look this um, charging cable is also matching with the laptops. That's just beautiful. Let's open it for very first time. And there is one more protector on screen. Wow, look at the display. It's so bright and beautiful. While it's booting up, let me share a bit about why I chose this MacBook. As a DevOps engineer, I needed a powerful machine to handle my engineering tasks on the go, as well as I will be using this MacBook to shoot my YouTube videos and edit them. With specifications um, an 11 core CPU, 14 core GPU, and 18 GB unified memory, and 512 GB SSD storage. It's perfect for my needs. The 11 core CPU and 14 core GPU are ideal for my engineering work and video editing tasks. Additionally, the 18 GB unified memory ensures the smooth multitasking. As for storage, 512 GB is sufficient for now and I plan to get an external drive for backup. Now let's talk about the color choice. I opted for this classic silver color because it's Apple's signature color and has been around for a while. It's well tested for scratches, dust and durability. Uh, space black is also an option, but being relatively new, there wasn't as much research or community experience on its scratch resistance and durability. So um, I felt more comfortable going with the classic one. In my upcoming videos, I will share my experience and review of using MacBook M3 Pro for DevOps work. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.